Toba's greetings. I'm your host, Dr. Wolfula, and welcome to a special presentation of Doc's Game Room, where I live stream horror games for your viewing displeasure. Normally, my game playthroughs are live streamed, but tonight's game in question is too short to warrant a stream. It's the 2013 Halloween fan game made by Puppet Combo, who used to go by the handle Pig Farmer Productions. Now, most of you probably know this Halloween game under its later title, Babysitter Bloodbath. The developer received a cease and desist from the producers of Halloween that forced the game to be reskinned and have all the Halloween assets removed, which led me to believe that maybe at least an official Halloween game was in the works, but no, that wasn't the case at all. It was just purely legal corporate bullshit. Now, some of you may also remember that I partially played this game on the channel back when it came out as a Halloween game. The developer of the game actually personally reached out to me at the time to play it, but admittedly, I barely ever played horror games at the time, so I didn't quite grasp how to play it back then. I didn't give the game the chance it deserved, and I never beat it. Until now. It's time to play this Halloween fan game once again once and for all. Now this does not look like the kind of house a serial killer would ever dare to enter, so I'm gonna feel very safe tonight, as a babysitter and as just a human being in general. Huh, whoa, I could spin around, this is some crazy shit. Like this, I could just spin around in place, I already like this game. Mark, hi Sarah, we're so glad you could come on such short notice. Let me take your coat. All right, this isn't going to be one of those things where the parents bang this teenager, right? Because, you know, I'm not totally against it, but uh, it's not necessarily the game I thought I was going to be playing tonight. Linda. Hi, Sarah. We're so glad you could come on such short notice. Linda. Billy is really excited to see you. Yeah, I can tell that fucking kid's excited. He's like running around all over the place. That kid needs to chill out, seriously. It's getting a little, uh, it's getting to be a bit much, honestly. Sarah, no problem, Mrs. Johnson. Before we go, do you have any questions? How can I reach you? Can I get paid now? Sure, we'll be back at 11. What? That's not what I asked. Uh, now means now. Sure, we'll be back at 11. What the hell is this shit? We must be going. I want the money now. What's going on? Talk when we get back. What? Guys, I I need that money now. My my mom has cancer and everything. I got to I got to pay for the her treatment. Like, ah. Oh, some fucking bullshit. I got to spend the rest of this night babysitting this fucking dumbass kid that's running around all over the place. Where the fuck is this piece of shit? Where is he? He's around here somewhere. I gotta fucking find him. He's around here somewhere. I just know it. All right. Let's put on the TV. Turn on the TV. Yes. The power button appears to be broken. Ugh, does anything work in this house? Does anything work in this game, actually? Okay. All right. The game just, like, froze for a second there. <laughs> really scared me. Uh, all right, let's keep moving. Let's find that kid. Figure out what the TV situation is. Where is that fucking kid? Come on. There he is. Billy, you have to find the remote control. Okay, I will. I don't see why. He has just bought a actual good TV. Then we wouldn't be in this situation at all. All right, let's fucking find the remote. But first, let's listen to the radio. Wait, what? Yes. Oh, this is a good beat. Yeah, I like this song. All right. Well, this is a little spooky. You recommend all it's a little weird. Stay inside and lock your doors. The masked what? man what? is considered extremely dangerous and reports indicate masked that man are severely injured close to a dozen people at last count. Oh, no. Please do not feed his terror. Instead, assist the okay, police I, in the safest way possible. I mean, evil does die tonight, right? It, it is going to die tonight, right? I mean... Four, two, one, five. I'm going to totally feed into his terror. Like, that's just what I'm going to do. Who is this guy? He has a kind face. Is that one of the Beach Boys? Yeah, who? I don't know who that guy is. But he looks, he looks kind. I don't know who this guy is. Well, he's probably like a famous guy from the 70s and someone in the comments gonna be like, oh, that's that guy who did that thing in the 70s. And I'm gonna be like, okay, whatever. All right, 
Ooh, C-3PO. Now, this is something from the 70s. I do know. Let me get some of this cereal. Hell yeah. That'll make for a good snack later. And you gotta have milk with your cereal, of course. Here we go. What is up with her fucking face? Ugh. God, a real butter face, Sarah. All right, got the milk. Let's take a look. Here we go. Let's just combine them now. You know, might as well. Makes sense. I'm sure the combined functionality will come in real handy playing this game. I'm sure it's not going to be a one-time thing. It's going to be a thing you constantly do. Let's check out this uh, room. Let's see what's in here. Why isn't there a mirror? Ah, oh, man. Can I at least take a shit? No. Uh, if this was a Rockstar game, I could be able to look in the mirror. I could be able to take a shit. Just totally unnecessary real-life simulator things. All right. Yes, I want the first aid kit. It's going to really come in handy later because I'm going to fuck this kid up. But I don't want to kill him. So I need to make sure he has the proper medical attention he needs later. Let's go upstairs, I guess, then. No point in walking when I can run. All right. All right, let's go into this bedroom, hell yeah. Ah, oh, it's locked. This is probably where all the dirty deeds happen. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, Mighty Mouse. All right, I'll take this remote control. I don't know why he brought his remote control upstairs to this bedroom, though, because there is no TV. I guess maybe he might have had it in his pocket, and maybe he dropped it later. Who knows? Okay, yeah, the door opened, and I just was able to go right through there. Right through it. Okay, um... You know, this house is really dark. Even with the lights on and everything, it's extremely dark. So, let's grab this flashlight. Very convenient. I didn't even know it was gonna be there, actually. I was like, okay, oh, sweet. Flashlight, I'll take that. Oh, yeah, I gotta fucking equip it. There we go. And there we go. Let there be light. Okay, I should be able to go through this door. Here we go. This house doesn't have any mirrors. Why doesn't it have any mirrors? Well, you know, mirrors are really hard to program in games. You know, it is what it is. I don't think there's anything else I need to get up here. But uh, let's at least look around. Ooh, okay, here's the booze. There we go. It's locked. God damn it. Uh, of course it's locked. Of course they lock it. Uh, it's the one thing you'd ever possibly want as a babysitter. Like, I want to be able to drink all the booze in the house. But no, no. They're just like, no. What is up with, like, the pictures hung up in this place? If there was a serial killer on the loose, like, this place is already spooky without him. It's like this Uncle Sam stock photo. Like, what's up with that? The... Who are these people? I sound like Jerry Seinfeld. Who are these people? Let's just turn on the TV. Get this kid to fucking calm down. Oh, thank God, something public domain is on TV. That would suck if it was something that was, you know, copyrighted, like the content in this game itself. All right. Okay, I get it. I'm getting fucking answering the fucking phone. Calm down, Sarah, hello. What? Is that Darth Vader? The Dark Lord of the Sith calling me? Hello? Okay, that was weird. Oh shit, okay. Anakin, I don't want to hear any of your bullshit. Hey, Sarah. Jill? Oh, it was Jill the whole time doing a phony Darth Vader impression. You scared the shit out of me. Huh? With your phone breathing bullshit. Phone breathing? When you just called. Are you off your meds again? Oh yeah, I should be taking my meds. I, uh, I should have them around here somewhere. I didn't call. If it wasn't you, then who? Hey, remember that guy from the mall? Are you going to call him? Of course I am, I'm a total slut. You slut. What are you going to say? I don't know. I wrote down his number, but left it in my coat. You better get it and call me after you talk to him. 
All right, I'm gonna definitely remember this phone number. Let me actually take a photo of the phone number for later. Let's get that. There we go, got it, all right. Definitely gonna call Jill later. Not gonna forget. It's definitely gonna be important to the game that I call Jill and let her know how the phone call goes. Now, where's that piece of shit kid? All right, he's still over there, awesome. All right, let's check out what's in here. Oh, yeah, this... Th How many bathrooms does this place have? I need to get my coat. That fucking dumbass dad left it in the closet, of course, with all of his other coats. This is a lot of coats, damn. Just some coats, lots of coats. Looking for this? Jack's number, give that back. You're gonna have to come get it. Oh, shit. Okay, I gotta fucking chase this kid again. Oh, shit. Get over here. Get over here, you piece of shit. Huh? Gotcha. Gotcha, Billy. Gotcha. I bet you feel real fucking stupid now with your stupid, stupid haircut. Like, you look like low polygon count Dennis the Menace. You fucking dumbass. Fine, I'll give it back. Good. All right, let's call Jack. Five. 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 Nine. One, two, four. Hello? Well, hey, Jack. It's uh, Sarah from the mall, you know, the chick with the big old titties. Oh, hey, Sarah. Are you doing anything fun tonight? Uh, drinking, smashing mailboxes, and tipping cows. Oh, man. Jack is so cool. Oh, man. I wish I was with Jack right now. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> Sarah's reading my mind. Hey, I'm actually out of liquor. Oh, man, I forgot about that. Jack is a real booze hound. Oh, man, he can really pound him down. We can hang out if you have some. I think I can uh, get some. Come over at 1130. Oh, yeah. Sure, bye. Oh, Jack is coming here tonight. Oh, fuck me. I hope he fucks me. This is terrific. Oh, man, this is the best night of my life. Best Halloween ever. All right. What's this kid doing? Hey, Billy, do your parents have a liquor cabinet? Yeah, but you can't open it without the key. So, where's the key? I'll only give it to you if you cook me something. You little bastard. I need a way to get rid of Billy. I mean, I could just kill him. I could totally just kill him. All right, time to prepare him a meal. Oh, yeah, that's right. This fucking household doesn't have any food. You open the refrigerator door... It's like an old steak and just some beers, of course. Of course, some beers. Of course, the dad makes sure to get all kinds of beers. I guess this doesn't count as liquor for Jack, though. Can't pick up that liquor. Can't drink it at all. So I need to cook something for Billy. Well, guess what? This family, all they got, like, they have this rotten fruit right here. And just, uh, uh, of course, maybe you, we could make some pumpkin pies if they didn't make so many jack-o'-lanterns. So, you know... Guess Billy is just gonna have to settle for the bowl of cereal that I have in my pocket. I keep uh, cereal in my pockets, of course. Okay, hopefully Billy doesn't give me any fucking guff over the cereal. I know it's dinner time, but his family is just terrible. And like, he's just watching one scene from Night of Living Dead on a loop at like one frame per 10 seconds. I've never seen a TV this terrible before, wow. Billy, I'm hungry. Here, eat this. Cereal at night? Give me the key, please. You got the liquor cabinet key. Hell yeah. Finally. I love Night of the Living Dead, but I don't want to hear just that one scene on a loop over and over again. Like, I'd rather not. It's, it's just irritating after a while. It's cool they have a ceiling fan, but it's really slow. Yeah, maybe they should get that fixed. Uh, hmm. Wow. Billy's got some gigantic toy cars. Like, these are fucking crazy huge. And is that the VLC logo? I guess so. Oh, yeah, Billy's totally a future furry. I can already tell. Okay. Uh, yeah, the Mighty Mouse. He's already got a fursona up on his wall. He's like, he's a lost cause at this point. I gotta stay focused. Gotta stay focused. Gotta get the liquor. Here we go. It's all about the liquor. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious, delicious booze. Here we go. Bottle of liquor? Yes. That's what I am talking about. Oh, maybe we should, we could get some music playing. A turntable. Too bad they only have Ornit Coleman LPs here. Ornit Coleman is fucking awesome. He's like one of the best. 
I don't know what fucking Sarah's problem is. Fucking stuck up bitch. Look at how she walks. She's like totally stuck up. Okay. All right. Time to bite the bullet. Finally put this fucking dipshit kid to sleep permanently, I hope. Well, actually, let's check the radio one last time. Turn off radio. I turned it on, though. It's almost as if this game is buggy. But there's no way. There's no way this game is buggy. It's impossible. Attention, attention, citizens of Haddonfield. The hunt for the recently escaped patient Michael Myers from Haddonfield Penitentiary continues. We recommend all civilians stay Very in interesting. Your doors. Instead, assist authorities um, in the safest way possible by staying home and alerting your law enforcement professionals at 616. All right, I'll stay home. I mean, well, this isn't really even my home. This is like some kind of meth lab house I'm hanging out in. This is not really my house at all. Oh, yeah. I drugged the cereal kid. I bet he thinks he's so fucking smart. Oh, man. He's not going to be waking up for a long time. I wouldn't be surprised if it put him into a permanent coma. All right. Let's take him to bed already. All right. Luckily, I don't have to carry him upstairs. Is this really how this kid sleeps? Doesn't even have a pillow. He just sleeps right on top of the blanket. Huh. Yeah, he's, he's a strange boy. He's a strange boy. All right, anyway, let's finally fuck Jack already. There we go. Speak of the devil. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, gotta prepare myself. This is Jack after all. This is Jack. I need to, need to look my best. Need to be prepared. How am I, how am I looking? I, it's hard to tell. I mean, I do have this, like, janky-ass haircut still. Stupid ass ponytail and everything. Like, I look like a fool, but I'll have to do. I have, like, just a huge ass ass in general. I guess he's into that, though, so it should should work out for me. Huh. It's a little spooky outside, especially with that guy playing the piano off in the distance. Yeah, it's probably nothing, though. Let's, uh... I guess we'll keep moving forward. Oh, God! Oh, Jack, you total joker. You're an asshole. Okay, let's not go that far, Sarah. This is Jack. <laughs> you should see the look on your face. I mean, there isn't much of a look. She's just like a collection of pixels. Not much of a face there. I'm not talking to you. Hey, come on, lighten up. It's Halloween. Yeah, Sarah, calm down. All right, let's do some fucking. Yeah, that's... Oh, I thought they were fucking. What is up with Sarah's face? What is that face she's making? <laughs> like, Jack looks like he has a human face, but Sarah just looks like... I don't know what that look is. That does not look like a human face. She's, like, all cross-eyed and everything, too. So, what do you want to do? Well, I was thinking we could, you know, fuck... Hey, cool. Is that Night of the Living Dead? I love this movie. Oh, Jack is a total cinephile. He's not really into the whole, you know, sins of the flesh thing. I'm going to get a beer. Man, Sarah was really hoping Jack would jack off in front of her. All right, let's finally get that beer. All right. What the? What was that? God, she has just the stupidest face ever. Actually, her face texture doesn't even match the color of her head. All right, okay, you know, you know, it's a fan game, you know, it is what it is. Okay, um, I'll have Jack check it out. I, I've had a long night. Hey, Jack. I heard a noise in the backyard. So what? So check it out. What if someone's out there? And beat them up. Yeah, Jack, come on. I want to see you beat people up. But I want to watch the movie. I, I don't blame him. This is a classic, even if it is just a scene from the movie looped over and over again. Go look now. Fine. Man, Sarah didn't even bother to pick up the spilled milk. I know you're not supposed to cry over spilled milk, but still, she could pick it up at least. Fucking animal. Fucking worst babysitter ever. Dear Lord. It's a guy out there, maybe. Who knows? Maybe I should look into some method of guaranteeing things don't go too far south. Don't have to 
retread familiar territory. Oh, a VHS tape. Convenient. Record your progress? Yes. Three. Save? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. And yeah, unfortunately, you can only save per VHS tape you pick up. It's a little weird. It's honestly weird. I guess it adds tension because you can't save as many times as you want. But still, it's a little weird. I mean, it also has this game also has like a mechanic where you can store items and you have like so much storage, but you don't need to store items at all. You have plenty of you have plenty of space in your inventory. So I don't even know what's up with the store items thing. All right, Jack, get the fuck out there already. I don't know about this. Just go check. I don't want to. Like, Jack doesn't want to. You guys could just stay inside, continue watching the movie. Maybe even call the police while the power's still on. Please. Okay, fine. Ah, uh, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. We're definitely gonna see Jack again. He's gonna be just fine. Let's head out. Oh, no! Jack! Oh, no! Oh! Okay, he was probably just ejaculating or something. Oh, no, wait! Power's out, too! Okay, this is not good. What happened to the lights? All right, um... Things are about to get spooky. I guess I have no choice. Open the door. Yes. Time to face destiny. Oh, thankfully. Got an axe, though. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Kick ass. Just keep fucking swinging it. Yeah, this is pretty fun. All right, let's head back inside. Okay, now let's see what's going on with Jack, I guess. I'm sure he's fine, though. Uh, oh. That doesn't look good. Yeah, that does not look good. Um, oh, man, yeah, that's definitely not his dick. That's a screwdriver. Oh, shit, that's bad. Well, yeah, I mean, I'd like to take the screwdriver. I'd like to get a good screwing in. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Come on. Come on. Just come on. Just come on. Just come on. Let, let me in, Billy. For God's sake, let, let me in. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. All right. That was, uh, that was a little too close. Hey, why'd you wake me up? Billy, I need you to run up and find somewhere to hide. Why? Because of that, you jackass, just do it. Ah, oh, shit. All right, think, Doc, think. What's the first thing you have to do when a serial killer is in your home? You have to go upstairs and head straight to the laundry chute and head down it. That's the first thing you gotta do. All right, let's get this done. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's get down the hatch. Down the hatch, that's what I'm talking about, okay. Oh, great, I'm in the basement. I was kind of hoping it would take me to safety. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Okay, this looks useful. There's got to be some other shit in here, though. Some other useful shit in here, otherwise I'm screwed. Oh, shit. So far, nothing else really seems useful down here. I don't like this situation at all, honestly. To be completely honest with you folks, I don't like this situation. I do like this situation, though. Revolver ammo. I like that. Okay, we got revolver ammo. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see. Okay, let's keep moving. Do we have anything else good? Okay. That's also what I'm talking about. I need that. Is there anything else down here, though? Because I could use something else. Oh, God, this place is so dark. Should be another thing, right? Like a videotape? Could really appreciate it. I might just have to... Ah, oh, shit! Ah, oh, fuck me! Okay, uh... Yeah, yeah, that was not cool. That was not cool, guy. Okay, I just need to get upstairs. Bare minimum. 
Where do I go? Oh, God. It's so dark. I can't panic. That's what he wants you to do. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, towards the stairs? Come on. All right. Got to keep going a little further. Got to grab the bolt cutters. And I got to get the fuck out of here. Got to get the fuck out of here as quickly as possible. Like, for real. All right. We're good. We're good. This game does get to me. It makes me truly afraid of Michael Myers. And if I beat this game, I'll never have to play it again. Just need to beat it once and for all, live. And hope I don't get fucked over by the AI. Okay, now this is where things get fun for me. This is where things get a little... Oh, shit. Where's this fucking... Where's... Alright, it's around the corner. Okay. We're finally almost out of here. Alright. Just gotta get the car ready. Gotta grab this shit. Open the shed. Yes, I wanna open the shed. For God's sake, I wanna open the shed. Just open the shed for me, please. I would love the gasoline can. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Once and for all. Once and for all and forever. Gas up car. Hell yeah, gas up car. Alright, let's fucking do this for real. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay, that was three shots in. I shot him three times. All right, that was four times. Okay, that's not enough times. All right, use. Okay, okay, for God's sake. Okay, okay, we're, we're doing okay. Oh, oh fuck, okay. Are you fucking kidding me right now? He's like stuck in a fucking... All right, let's just... Are you... No! Ah, oh, shit! Ah! This game... This game annoys me on so many fucking levels. I'm not gonna lie. Gotta go through all that fucking shit all over again. Because the game is so buggy. Ah. Oh. All right, let's go back down in the basement. Super fun. Let's do this shit all over again. Can't just have like, you know, it would have been just so cool if they just included a fucking checkpoint system. So you don't have to. Ah, shit, of course he fucking jump scares me again and fucking chases me around. Well, that's what he does, but damn. Here for the one thing. Keep moving. Go up the stairs. All right, we're good so far. Man, the, like the floor layout of this place is just so crazy. It's just so easy to get lost. It doesn't have a layout that makes any sense. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's do this again. I'm so close. Okay, this is it. All right. This is the real deal. Man, I would love a checkpoint system. I would suck somebody's dick for a checkpoint system in this game. All right. Keep moving. This is the real deal. Can't fuck up. This is like some kind of fucking Dark Souls Elden Ring shit. Man. 
man, if only the camera angles weren't so shitty in this game. Oh, shit, shit, shit. How are we doing? All right. Definitely. Two? Okay, that was two. Alright, that's the last one I got in that one. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. Oh, shit. Cap lock? Caps lock is on? Oh, shit. Okay, I'm out of bullets. Your boy's out of bullets. That means I've basic. Oh, shit. Oh, I won. Oh, thank God. Oh. Oh, did you kill the boogeyman? I sure did, Billy. That was a close one. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Like, for real. Oh, God. Oh. The cartoon car sound effects. They sound so great right now. Just knowing I'm finally done with this game forever. Never have to play it ever again. It's over. I finally, after nine years, completed this game. Ah, oh, dear lord. Lieutenant Breaker, thanks to your quick thinking. I could, I could still use my... I could still use my axe. <laughs> Apparently. The kid is okay, and you're still alive. But Jack... I'm sorry about your boyfriend. He's busy jacking off in heaven right now. The guy who attacked you is named Michael Myers. He escaped from Smith's Grove Sanitarium earlier tonight. I guess, you know, you spend a lot of time developing a game. You do your first playthrough and you're excited. You don't really have a lot of time to, you know, do, do the spell check stuff. Uh, I don't mean to alarm you, but what? What is it? She could at least let her take a shower before we did this. She still has her flashlight on. Oh, I can turn it on and off. That's good. That's cool. By the time my officers arrived, his body was gone. But I killed him. He was dead. What a jip. I didn't even permanently kill Michael. This isn't even Halloween ends, huh? I assure you, we're doing all we can. This is an ongoing investigation. All right, okay. In the meantime, I'm going to have somebody take you to the hospital. Oh, yeah, hospitals are totally Michael Myers proof. Yeah, I should be safe there. Oh, yeah, I will be safe there. Okay, thank you, Lieutenant Breaker. I appreciate it. Yeah, damn, thanks. So that was Halloween the Game, a.k.a. Babysitter Bloodbath by Puppet Combo. I'm glad I finally beat the game. It always felt like unfinished business for me, a public shame. But now I've finally closed this chapter of my life. The game itself is a solid fan game. It's just a quick little horror movie scenario that pays tribute to 90s PlayStation games with its graphics and mechanics, and the game has a really tense atmosphere that does a fine job capturing the feel of the Halloween franchise. The limited save feature does make the game really frustrating, but it's short, and the frustration does add to the tension of the game, making death have consequence because you'll have to annoyingly potentially lose a lot of progress. That said, I'm probably never going to play this game again, but I'm glad it existed, and I hope someday we do get another proper Halloween game with Michael Myers in it. Anyway, if you'd like more videos like this where I play short fan games, let me know in the comments below. This video is made possible through the pledges of my Patreon supporters, and I'd like to give a very special thanks to the kind folks pledged to my shoutouts tier. All of the support on Patreon means a lot to me, and it helps my dark influence continue to grow. If you like this video, like it, and if you loved it, click the subscribe and bell buttons for more vids. Be sure to also keep in touch by following me on social media at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Dr. Wolfula. While I still have your attention, consider pledging to my Patreon to support the channel and get bonus content like previews, VI IP Discord server access, private movie night streams, and credits in videos. Consider pledging at patreon.com slash drwolfula. Also, check out official Dr. Wolfula t-shirts and other merch on tpublic.com slash user slash drwolfula. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Dr. Wolfula signing out.